I'd also like to recognize Ms. Cindy McCain, who is also with us today. Ms. McCain is a founding member of an investor in the Eastern Congo Initiative and shares Mr. Affleck's dedication to ending the suffering in this region. She has also has dedicated her time and energy to a number of other very worthwhile projects. To really leverage our assets and how we bring pressure and, deal and establish a dialogue with the Congolese. The women in the DRC have had to endure years of brutal victimization of rape. Members of the subcommittee, my name is Ben Affleck, and I am the founder of the Eastern Congo Initiative. ECI is the only U.S.-based grant-making and advocacy organization entirely focused uh, on working with and for the people of Eastern Congo, an area that carries the unwanted distinction of being the deadliest and most volatile region of the country and one of the deadliest in the world. Federal spending, some suggest that austerity demands we turn a blind eye to the crisis in Congo. I believe nothing could be more misguided. It would simply be uh, penny wise and pound foolish to allow the Congo to, to again. According to the United Nations, the crisis in Eastern Congo has displaced an estimated 1.7 million Congolese and has led to over 1,000 rapes being committed every month. The International Rescue Committee estimates that 5.4 million people have lost their lives in the conflict since 1998. Many of these deaths were children under the age of five. Not all were killed in combat, but rather perished from the ravages that accompany this horrific region, malaria and pneumonia, malnutrition, uh, and diarrhea. This day, which I also think is important to recognize, and I think it's particularly appropriate to call One, the U.S. government must do more to support a multidimensional strategy to protect civilians, women, girls, boys, and men from the onslaught of violence in Eastern Congo. Two, the U.S. government must do more to support the 2011 elections, which we've heard about already a little bit today. In addition to providing diplomatic support, the U.S. should support robust election monitoring by uh, Congolese civil society and by credible international organizations. Three, to ensure that the United States steps up to the serious challenges to stability in Africa posed by the Congo, the President or the Secretary of State should appoint a special representative to the Great Lakes region of Central Africa. The appointment should occur as soon as possible in order to coordinate the U.S. response to the challenges in the Congo.